ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the youtube channel today i would like to show you how to do nonlinear regression in scilab i prepared one example data set uh, here for today and yes it is already here with two columns first is the time the second is the concentration and uh, i'm going to fit a curve on these data so the topic is nonlinear regression first we read our data in scilab a temporary table will be used csv read function will read uh, our csv data uh, csv is comma space delimited value example csv will be used and here you can see that semicolon is separating the columns the decimal separator is dot it's better to specify than leaving default who knows what is in your system and uh, we transform all values to double so we need uh, real numbers and uh, the x data will be the first column so all the rows in column number one the y data in our figure x y axis exists uh, will be the second column and all rows so first uh, we can show and present data in a figure i will clear uh, all the previous figures if anything exists and uh, make a reset and plot x data y data with uh, blue circles and then the x level of the chart uh, will be don't forget it please it is very useful information all the figures should be self-explanatory as much as possible time in hours and the uh, y level will be uh, concentration gram pro liter okay and now if i save and run execute this code let's say regression is the name you can see that the figure appeared here everything is running without a mistake uh, no error message appeared on the console and our parameters variables are here in the variable browser so right now i can start processing this data you can see that it follows a nice saturation curve shape so this is the function what i have to add so my function to predict the data the equation will be a saturation curve a plus b times one minus exponential x divided by c here the abc coefficients have specific meaning and uh, then the inputs of uh, the function will be two vectors the first are the coefficients and the second will be the x data which points i want to calculate the predicted value so i will create a function the predicted value will be uh, calculated by my uh, predict function with a parameter vector as a coefficient and x vector to know where I have to calculate that. So the predicted values will come as parameter vector number one. I just use ABC in this order as it is there, uh, plus parameter vector number two multiplied by one minus exponential, uh, the minus x values divided by parameter vector number three and now please check uh, the number of the brackets that everything is correct hope so and then i have my function uh, when i want to fit this function i need some initial guess about the parameters so initial guess it can be anything but we need some values so that uh, the scilab can start calculating with uh, something for example one 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 five 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 three 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 something else like that i will use uh, uh, let's say five five 
5. So all parameters or coefficients will have the initial value of 5 here. And then I can uh, show the initial curve, the initial guess on the chart. I will plot the x values and my predict function calculated values with parameter vector 0 and the x data what we have here and uh, I will use red line so if I do that you can see here that uh, now I have an initial guess it is very far from the data but now comes the trick uh, how to fit the curve to get closer to our observations first I need a cost function this is the cost function what will be used to evaluate the current situation and uh, this is how uh, the coefficients are uh, manipulated by the scilab the least squares method so the function we need uh, different uh, values my cost will be the name of the cost function I need parameter vectors uh, as a coefficients and I need x data, uh, x values, where I want to calculate uh, the predicted values, and I need y values uh, to be able to compare uh, the result. So basically, the inputs of this function, uh, of this function, are first are the coefficients. The second is the x data where I want to calculate uh, the differences and the prediction and y data as a reference I compare how successful I was so the difference values will come very easily because I have the my predict function and I can use the coefficients and the x values to make my prediction and finally I compare it with y values so this is the difference what I'm going to optimize to minimize to get the smallest difference with my prediction how I can do curve fitting the least squares method is a built-in function uh, the optimized difference the best coefficients and the gradient at that point can be calculated with the least square function and uh, first I have to give what is my cost function what I use to optimize so I will make a list my cost is the name of the function but I have three parameters the coefficients are automatically the first it is provided by the system I have to add the x values and uh, y values uh, for it uh, but right now sorry I have data uh, x data y data and my initial guess will be the pv0 uh, the parameter vector 0 and with that way I can do the curve fitting okay so if I save and execute uh, the figure didn't change because I didn't uh, uh, draw anything on it but uh, I see no uh, error message and here are the optimum values as well so here you can see uh, the coefficients how I can plot it also on the chart it's very easy uh, plot fitted curve then with the x data uh, my predict function will give us uh, with the optimum coefficients and x data the predicted values and let it be green line for example and because there are too many things will be uh, on the figures I will add legend uh, first uh, I should specify uh, observed data we have and the next one will be initial guess in the order how they were added uh, to the figure and fitted curve 
these will be uh, positioned into the uh, bottom right corner there will be enough space for it and uh, then no box around I don't like the boxes and then if we do that way here you can see together with legend how the figure looks like with the initial guess which is very far and how the optimized curve looks like and you can see that the code is pretty straightforward we had to specify only a cost function and then it was able to adjust uh, our function the equation to fit the data and if you want to know what are the coefficients it is very easy because the uh, optimum uh, parameters x opt are calculated and uh, if you want to know what are uh, the quality parameters uh, of course it can be a real question for example r squared value then the r squared value can be calculated by the correlation function uh, we have y data and the my predict function uh, calculates uh, the prediction of it and the squared value we have to get it this is the r squared value the determination coefficient of the curve uh, what we fit it is very nice and uh, if you want to know what is the estimation error the root mean square error the root mean square error is the square root of the mean of the square differences of uh, the similar my prediction against uh, the observation on the data squared differences are here the mean is calculated from it and the square root so this is the root mean square error so finally even the quality parameters you can calculate easily how this fitted curve uh, is close to the observed value here you can see the code uh, and the figure I hope you enjoy and you will be able to fit uh, your uh, curve to the data have fun with SignLab